Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is the second reading for March for Leo. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with you, and it is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for at any time in March. This is basically a perhaps, it may or may not be, it may be your story, it may not be. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, then we're going to use this deck right here. What do we got for Leo, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for Leo? You may be starting to build new foundations, or you're working on your foundation. I'm not sure, I just happen to think foundations. Uh, maybe you're building your own spiritual foundation, you know, you're starting at the bottom or you're you're moving a uh, step up. I don't know. Maybe maybe you're you're not at the bottom. I mean, some of you know, we're all at different phases, right? Maybe you're just, you know, ascending in some way. I don't know where that's coming from, but apparently somebody is because those words came out. So let's see what we got. What do we got for Leo? Balance. Being flexible, adapting to your new circumstances, you know. Uh, maybe you're, you're taking steps to bring balance back into your life and you're getting better at it, right? You're keeping things balanced very well. Um, this is very poised, you know. Um, very skilled at what you do. Anyway, it looks like this is a time of perhaps regaining balance. You think about balance. When I see balance, I mean, there's so many cards that represent balance, but for me, one of the main cards is the temperance card. You know, it's about making compromise. It's about healing. It's about evolving. It's about being flexible. It's about doing whatever you got to do to to keep things um, balanced. So I feel like right now you guys are going through a period of maybe even uh, honing on, on your skills. You know what I mean? Focusing on becoming better at whatever it is that you do. I don't know what that means, but for some of you it's about, you know, evolving to get the best possible outcome in some way and you're really focused on I think yourself you know your purpose perhaps maybe you're focused on your life purpose maybe you're going through some sort of renewal what do we got for Leo, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for Leo? You're removing obstacles. There's been some obstacles in the way, and it probably has to do with your own thoughts because of these swords. Maybe you're releasing some negative thoughts or some negative habits, perhaps. King of Cups. Ooh, Six of Swords reverse. This is reluctant to see a new approach. And that's where, and you got to see what's mirroring each other. In the past, perhaps you have been reluctant to see, see a new approach, but you realize that there's no abundance there. There's no wish fulfillment. Maybe ego and pride, the Nine of Cups reversed, have been in the way. Perhaps now you are really feeling your emotions and you're working on mastering your emotions uh, better than ever before. And I think that you guys are really focused on, I think, being the best that you can be. You know, I really do. And I feel like you're focused on your heart. You know, you're, you're focused on, you know, perhaps even self-love. I feel like there's a lot of, this is an intense time of emotions and you're doing whatever you got to do to remove those negative obstacles that have kept you unbalanced. King of Wands. Wow. Yeah, it's you. King of Pentacles. What? We got three kings here? What the hell is this? King of Pentacles. Reverse, though. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, Ace of Cups. The Magician. 
in the hair of font reverse. So you have some players here, there's no doubt. You got some people here in this reading. One of them is you. <laughs> One of them is you. And it feels like right now you're in, the, you're in a serious process of taking action, shedding your old, right? It's like you are becoming one with the divine. Um, there's a lot of, of self-love here. I really feel like there's a lot of self-love. And you're doing that because you're... you're you're trying to bring balance and you know that it starts from within. So I really feel like this is a time of investing in you. I really do. I think you're trying to be more realistic. You're trying to be practical. You're really focused on growth right now, internal growth, internal growth. I feel like right now you're probably not, um, you may not be focused so much on a relationship, but you may be focused more on yourself, you know? You're probably moving forward with blind faith, all right? I feel as though for some of you, um, your own stability, your own securities may be, may be more important than uh, any kind of commitment right now, any kind of relationship commitment. I feel like you're you're focused on your own business, you know, you're you're if you're you know, maybe you're thinking about starting your own business. You're thinking about how you can be more prosperous, how you can make more money. You know, I, I feel like um, you're starting to feel really more comfortable with who you are, and it all starts from within. So that's what I see so far. I feel like you are basically taking ownership of your own life and you're moving forward with blind faith. I feel like you're using all the resources within you to manifest true love, but you know that it starts from within. So you are manifesting love, just so you know. If you are single, you are manifesting love right now. But right now it feels like your focus really isn't on getting in a commitment because you're, you're still... Go removing obstacles that have kept you stuck. You're still in the process of removing some obstacles in your life. I feel like there's a lack of wish fulfillment and be, it's be, and you know that you have to be the one to take action. So that's what it looks like to me. Um, if you are the female watching this, you probably have options, but you may not want any of them because you're just... working on you. I'm just I'm just saying. If you are in a coupled relationship, you may be things may be going okay. Things may be going okay and you're not really you don't have to really worry about it because if it, it looks if you're in a coupled relationship, I feel like There's love here. I feel like there's, if you're in a coupled relationship, I feel like there's love here. I think there's a lot of focus on uh, the job, uh, the, the business, the um, growth that's going on around you and with you and everybody involved. It's just, I just see a lot of growth here. If you um, or in a troubled relationship, there could be a divorce on the horizon. I'm just saying, for some of you, I mean, this is the hair font. For some of you, not everybody, this is, this could be a split or a breakup or a divorce because, you know, you're you're trying to manifest true love. For some of you, for some of you, not everybody. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus in particular, there could be, you know... A split there could be there could be a breakup there could be you know there's no more faith in this there's there's something like that it's like there's this person isn't really focused on love if you're dealing with a Taurus this is Taurus this is Taurus but this is also Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, you know there could be 
another love, okay? Maybe there's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the mix. There's choices here. If you are the female here, you may be dealing, you may have options. You may, you may have like three options here. And maybe you have to go through a split, a divorce, to accept this love offer from whoever this is. Maybe that's the obstacle that's in the way. You know, there's definitely a feeling of, I mean, there could be a third-party situation here. There could be for some of you. For some of you, there could be a third-party situation where <laughs> you're reluctant to move on from one, one of these people because of money, because of stability, but there's no love, and there's love with somebody else. So for some of you, there is love with somebody else. For some of you. Um... And there's definitely an obstacle that needs to be removed. But somebody is reluctant to, to move or to take a new approach, probably because of all that they've invested in so far. Definitely, one of, there's somebody watching this that has to make a choice between two people. Or three people. And anyhow, there could be a new love connection here. There could be. For some of you. And now you've got you to gotta shed the old so that you can be with this other person, whoever it is. So I feel like th that could be the case for somebody. Um, yeah, there's lack of wish fulfillment with somebody. It's like there's no hope. There's no faith. There's, there's no inspiration here. And I think there's a new, new opportunity for love. But there's fear of getting caught. Be careful. You could get caught. If there's been cheating going on, be careful. The truth could come out. That's what this card means. So just be careful. There could be some sort of truth that comes out that, that makes you single. So if you are in a coupled relationship and there's been some cheating going on, whether it's you, there, the truth could be revealed. Just saying. Um, this is an independent person who either has is just becoming independent or has been independent and is going to do just fine. This is somebody who is self-sufficient and can take very good care of themselves. Um, so maybe that's what you're working on. Some of you are working on that right now. You're just working on your own stability. Some of you are going to go through a split. That's what these two cards signify together because there's been some cheating. So for some of you, there's a split on the horizon, perhaps even a divorce, because I think there's another person. Three's a crowd, and I feel like there is another person here, and it could I think it's another man. I do. Um, somebody hasn't been acting with integrity. There's a, there's a player here, there's a player here, and they're not doing the right thing. And it looks like they're going to get caught. Somebody's going to get caught doing something, lying. You know, maybe there's a there's somebody that is married here and the truth could come out and there could be some sort of uh, enlightenment, put it that way. Um, somebody could be, said, could get left out in the cold really, really fast because of their actions, because of what they have done. Um, whew. Wow. Wow. So somebody has been trying to control a situation, trying to keep things structured and organized. And things are not structured. There's a lot of insecurities here. There's a lot of victim mentality where somebody may be playing the victim when they're not really a victim. There's anger that could come about because of somebody that is very manipulative. We have somebody here that definitely does not have integrity. And... Oh, my God. They've lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. They may see themselves as a victim. And they may have done something that now they 
are going to regret. I think that somebody is staying perhaps in a commitment because of what everybody else thinks. You know, it's like it's a big. Lie. A three of wands reversed. Not prepared. You may be not be prepared for some truth to be revealed, but beware. Beware, because I think that you may think that everything is hidden nice and pretty. It's not. Be careful. I'm serious. Be careful. I feel as though somebody may end up on their own because of maybe some infidelity or some sort of lies or something like that. Something's going to come to a halt. Something is going to come to a halt. Could be a marriage. Could be a commitment. I don't know what this is. And I feel it's because somebody lost hope. They lost faith. They lost their inspiration in perhaps a marriage or a relationship. And they looked outside the relationship. And now they're caught up in a mess. There was lack of integrity here with this page of pentacles. Reverse. I'm serious. They may have came off, played themselves as a victim because, oh, this doesn't love me, doesn't take care of me, that kind of thing. He's been doing this. He's been doing that. And the fact of the matter is that's not justifiable. Two rights don't make a wrong. Or two wrongs don't make a right or however that goes. Two, two rights, two wrongs don't make a right. That's what it is. Two wrongs don't make a right. Um, and I think there's going to be, there could be an outburst. There could be a lot of anger that comes about when this, when somebody gets caught. So be prepared. Be prepared. Um, somebody didn't act with integrity and now they, they are probably going to, have to deal with it. Somebody is, is realizing that there's a better opportunity. And I think what happened here is somebody has given up hope in a relationship. And now they realize that there's a better opportunity. But I feel like they've made, there's some regrets. There's some regrets. And there's, there's some regrets for not handling the situation with integrity. There's going to be regrets, if not, because, you know. When things are meant, there's a, there's a time to change, thing, change things before things get out of balance. You know, these fives, re, these are both fives reversed, but there's, oh, there's a five, five, five. Five, five, five. Fives are about change. They're about conflict. Power struggles, life choices, changes. Let go of the old and bring in the new. It's a car. They're expect the unexpected. Ex Leo, expect the unexpected. It's time for a change. And I feel like some of you have been too afraid to make a change. Therefore, I think that you weren't getting perhaps the love that you needed or the whatever you, whatever it is. And perhaps now something has happened that you're going that may cause some regrets, but it's going to push you in the direction that you need to go in. But you you could have it could have went a different way if somebody had the strength to do the right thing before.
making the wrong decision, whatever that was. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. It's kind of messed up. But it is messed up. I think it's messed up because somebody, you know, wanted to find somebody else before they broke free. I think this is a month of trying to bring balance back to your life and making a choice as to whether, you know, you're going to end the false commitment or let this obstacle stay in your way. This is lies in an obstacle. It is. There's an obstacle that somebody is reluctant to let go of because I think because it's 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 something, you know, it's something to have. Very society driven is something. That's still fake. Now this Nine of Pentacles is an independent person who is very self-sufficient, very worthy, very um, respectable, somebody who is a hard worker, somebody who can take care of themselves very well, somebody who enjoys life, somebody who totally, totally knows what they're worth and is very abundant with themselves. So for some of you, that's who you are going to become. This independent, self-sufficient person who demands respect. For some of you, there's been a bad decision here. There has lack of integrity. There's been a bad decision here that now needs to be dealt with so that you can become this person. And when you become this person and you are enjoying life and you have a lot of integrity, not saying that you don't, and you respect yourself and you know what you're worth and you're you're happy-go-lucky and you don't sweat the small stuff, that's when you're going to get this love that you desire. So I feel like this is a month of something coming to a halt because I think some sort of truth, secret lie is going to be revealed. Expect the unexpected. Somebody may think that this is hidden well, well, real well. I don't think so. There's a price to pay for not acting with integrity, whether it was you or the cross watcher or whoever it is. Somebody hasn't acted with integrity. And I think that you're somehow in this mix, whether you're the other person or you were the one or whatever. And I, I, I really feel like there's going to be some regrets for it. Let's get one of these. What do we got for Leo? Passion and pleasure. Not good. I mean, it is good. It's reversed. We're not going to take this card because a bunch of them fall, fell out. But I feel like somebody has, you know, stepped over the boundaries that they shouldn't have stepped over. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. There's consequences. There's consequences for that. I'm not saying that it was you. could have been the other person. Um, what do we got for Leo? Reluctant to move on from some sort of situation just because of what everybody else is going to say for some of you. You know, I don't, and there's a feeling of, you know, I don't really want to be alone. I don't really want to be alone. And I feel like for, for some of you, you know, looking for somebody before they're single or before you're single is an issue here, you know, wanting to move right from one to the other. There's consequences for that. I'm not saying that it was you, but. For some of you, this is all about self-love, self-respect, self-worth, and self-value. And doing what you need to do to bring balance back to your life after some sort of lie. There's definitely a lie here. And you may expect that this is not going to come un become uncovered. Look, I think it is going to become uncovered. 
Choosing your path. All is possible. New vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose. And, when it, and within this is your freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by expectations of others deter your path. Like I said, I knew it. Staying in a situation because that's what everybody else wants. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by expectations of others deter your path. Be daring. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Dance, laugh, explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Say yes to life. You support others in stepping into their freedom and when you step into yours. Choose life on your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. That's what it says. Sometimes to be free, the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your arms to the heavens in joy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step, in, step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally, don't unconditionally accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. And that's what this is. It's better off to be alone than have to hide your true feelings from people or to get involved in third party situations. For some of you, you're afraid to lose control. You're afraid of disorganization. You're afraid of chaos, but it's coming because somebody didn't act with integrity. I think something is going to come to a halt completely. Could be the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seriously. It could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be anybody else, could be Gemini, um, could be an Aries. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Be prepared. Choose the path that fits you. Not what fits your parents. Not what fits your neighbors or your co-workers. Choose the path that fits you. But make sure you do it with integrity. Not saying that it was you, but I, the integrity is just coming up a lot. I don't know why. Good luck.